Hey, welcome to the uh, Sam Livecast, everyone. It's Friday, last day of Super Bowl week. And we- what a week it's been. What a week it's been. Uh, cheese garlic fries. Yes. Um, Let me get those pictures up. Cheese garlic fries. And then the, oh, the chimichito. All right, we got the cheese garlic fries from Monday. Oh. Unbelievable. Yeah. So easy. And then I don't, actually don't have the uh, Wednesday picture yet, but but you will. We made no, the no, no, no. You could you could put it in. You're right. I can. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chimichito. So good. It's fantastic. Unbelievable. Uh, and today I'm making a for the first time. Um, mashed potato, onion, and Spanish chorizo pizza. That I think is going to be fantastic. And when he says that he's making it for the first time, he doesn't mean making it for the first time on this show. He means making it for the first time, Which period. could be means it could be a complete flop. This is the Spanish trezo that came in the mantry this, this month. Mm-hmm. This is Aurelia's, and it's made in Bourne, Texas. Hey, am you I... You ever heard of that? B-O-E-R-N-E. Wait, Bourne. say it again. Bourne. Spell it. Texas. B O E. R N E. How do you say that? Barn. Born. Yeah. Born. Born, Texas. Born. Kendall Texas. County. They spell it so you'll say it like a Texan. <laughs> Barn. Born. You know what I Texas. actually? Yes. Um, say, say beer can in a British accent. Beer can. Say it again. Hello, Jason. Would you mind passing me that to beer can? <laughs> You're saying bacon in Jamaican. What? Give me that beer can. Wait, what? <laughs> beer what do you can. Mean I'm saying bacon say, in Jamaican. Say beer can in a British accent. That's how it sounds like they say bacon in Jamaica. Beer can. Bacon. <laughs> Give me that beer can. Are you fucking mental? <laughs> Apparently. Or what? Are you, are you work on this stuff late at night? No, I, 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 it's not something I came up with. I saw somebody talk about it online, obviously. I didn't just like, I'm not just like, hmm, what British words can I say that sound like a Jamaican person is saying it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we have guests today. Again, they haven't left. <laughs> they love us. Dude, I do not know what's going on. It's, it's kind of creepy. But they just want some food. It's, yeah. We're just hungry. They just ate two chimichitos. <laughs> I didn't need any. Actually. No, nice, nice. Uh, Jason, text artist. Marco, yes, and uh, his lovely wife Allie, and um, they're here watching. So our style now is there's Jason's uh, a text text artist uh, website. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's very talented. We met him. I what happened? You did the the manifesto thing, and I commented on it. I think what happened was we, we fixtures posted it. You saw it and reposted it. So, and then I emailed you. Uh, what? I think you posted it on your Facebook wall. And I was like, well, that's weird. That's right. I, that's my art. You're right. I saw it there. And uh, yes. And then did you reach I, out? I emailed you and then you gave me a load of shit because it took me a long time to respond to your email back. You emailed me, like, oh, yeah, and then it took me a couple days to get back to you. And That's like, what it was. He gets on people's asses for that. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 I normally pride myself in getting back to people right away. Yeah, yeah, big-time artist. Anyway, uh, the new style of the, of the live cast is um, – oh, what is that? Oh, that's that's it's his the video. the video from his homepage. Yeah. Uh, so check it out. He puts everything in text into in a words. video. That's it's where, awesome. That's where the name text artist comes uh-huh. from. Well, you know what that one was? That was the uh, 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 Life is Like a Box of Chocolates, that one. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Yeah. Forrest Gump one. That yeah. was really cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. the people really liked that one. Really cool. Well, you completely captured it. He turns words into art, hence the name Text Artist. It's very cool shit. Anyway, you can go check him out at his website. Um, so I put a picture the other day up on, on the Facebook, and I'm not going to show it yet here, Maxie. You can just take my computer. So we recognize who this, who this woman is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Katy Perry, right? Of course. You would recognize who this person is. That's Paula Dean. 
Now, I didn't do this, but somebody mashed the two of them together. So let's just remember again. Katy Perry, Paula Deen. Katy Perry, Paula Deen. Katy Perry and Paula Deen together. <laughs> oh, this is Katy Perry's face. And I think it's that, I think it's that one. Is it? It's pretty close to that one. It's Katy Perry's face with Paula Deen's head, hair. It looks like fucking Paula Deen. It's creepy, man. Only more than 650 people agree with you on Facebook. It's creepy as shit. <laughs> 653 likes. Wow. <laughs> it's eerily creepy. It really is. Uh. And so you didn't... I, I See, when I first saw that, I thought that you did that. No. I was like... Oh, he's really getting uh, into the Photoshop. I'm not because mashing we know Paula like Dean up do. with anybody. Yeah, I don't know how Thankfully. to use Photoshop. Thankfully. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, it is. I guess can't stop looking at this picture of the two of them stuck into one. i got to get it off my computer. No, it's, it's too gross. creepy. Yeah, you do not want to, look, you don't want to do that. No, I don't. Hey, wait, don't while we're talking that. about yes. um, about women, I guess, yes. <laughs> you just put up this tweet about two hours ago. Oh. It says... Dear women everywhere, please stop injecting your lips with whatever the F that shit is. We love you the way you are, all of you. <laughs> you know why I did that? Why? I was walking in the supermarket, uh -huh. and I turn a corner, and a woman's coming this way, and here was her face, <laughs> and here were her lips. <laughs> Literally, that would mean she might have been smiling, so we'll put them like this. <laughs> Literally, that size on her face. <laughs> and I looked, I smiled first, and then inside I was like, oh, God, God, turn away, turn away, quick, quick, quick. Oh, man. It's awful, and I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they think we want that. We don't want that. We don't. We want you looking like you. Not like you with borrowed lips from somebody twice your size. <laughs> and that's what that shit looks like. No, yeah. People go way overboard. They go way overboard. You know, like, maybe I guess some plastic surgery has... A place and a time, not necessarily for cosmetic things, but for maybe for the health. I mean, for health. And look, I guess also, but I get, look, that's I, overboard. I understand how self-image is very important. My, I look, I have my own. Whatever you think of me, there's self-image shit working in here. Whether you think I care about it or I think about it way too much, it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what I think. And I understand that m women might want some things done to them. I think I can understand a, a woman, a, a small-breasted woman wanting larger breasts. For whatever reason, that I can get. I don't get the fucking lips, though. I, I'm not a fan of uh, enhanced breasts. I, I prefer a naturally endowed woman. Yeah. But I'm saying, if you want to do that, that's fine. I don't get the lips. <laughs> It just doesn't play for me. Is it supposed to make them look... Is it sexier? Ah. No, I mean, I think, yeah, people... I is, think that's, is that why they do it? Big lips. Like that yeah. stupid L.A. housewife show or whichever one it is. I, I flip channels every so often, and every so often, I'll stop on it and I'll watch a bit. Whichever one of the housewife franchise models it was, there was a room of five women and every one. You could see had plumped up lips and it's just i don't like it i'm sure somebody will give me shit for that comment but no but it's true i do like women the way they are I need that stuff done to them yeah or whatever whatever what else suppose if it makes about? you I suppose if it makes you happy then lionel barrymore is still dead died at 76 <laughs> What's with you? And I, know, Lionel I don't know. I, I watched that show back. I felt like I talked about Lionel Barrymore way too much. But really, go see that movie. It's on, that, by the way, that movie in its entirety is on YouTube. It's called On Borrowed Time, the entire movie. And it's an old black and white one. So it's not like you're going to benefit from watching it on your TV. You know what's cool? Um, shows that are on like Showtime and HBO, yeah. they are now putting up their first episode like it's uh an example is a show called shameless just started uh up its new season on showtime which is of course a paid service and what they did with the first episode of the season they put it up on itunes totally free for anybody to watch yeah and i thought about it and i mean it's brilliant <clears throat> they're getting people hooked on a great show in for free and now they're gonna that's gonna lead to more subscriptions oh for them. i see i see i see yeah 
Normally hey, it's all paid, but they put that up for free. You still watching that freaky show Catfish? Yes. You love that. I've seen most of them. Yeah, I <sighs> watched a marathon. It was You guys you guys ever watch it? Seen it? You know it's what it is? It's eerily addicting. It, well, it's based on a movie. It's that Manti Teo thing. He's the real life a- version. MTV MTV finds people uh-huh. that have been communicating only through the internet with like a romantic Yeah, yeah. Yeah. other person. Okay. And nev- inevitably, these things lead to them corresponding with what they think is a woman or a man, and it's completely the opposite, or it's a so creepy weird. version of something, and it's uh, messed, man. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of messed. And Max is taken with it. <laughs> He's taken with it. It's a really interesting show, and I really like the way that they do it. I mean, they do it, it's super low budget, like, they, not like, it doesn't look low budget, but I mean, like, the actual production is, like, they have handheld cameras that they use, they really just make use of what they have it's really cool interesting yeah <sighs> you're getting a lot of response on facebook to people uh enjoying <laughs> your comments <laughs> hey uh let's just remind people what gummy bear uh said after watching one of our uh, live casts on youtube he said hey i remember this faggot wow everyone in cali sounds like a total stoner douche <laughs> we'll read that every day it's fantastic <laughs> We like to it's stay fantastic. Humble. I got this. Hey, man, I got this pizza I wanted. I'm hurting to make. Oh, yeah. Can we? Uh, Wait, hold on. Yeah. Tell everybody what was the pizza that you made um, one time on the TV show? Oh, that you threw away on air. It was a what it was, was a, it was it was pizza day. And I had, you know, in the show, there's like four segments separated by three commercials. Mm-hmm. Just like this example of my fingers. Four segments with three commercials right there. Hey, you know, what it just reminded me of. What? When you I were think little, I know what you're gonna do. do, do, do whoop, whoop, yeah. Do, do. I don't so remember they, what that he, was. Here's <laughs> what it was. The, the kid, the Max, came up when uh, he was little, and he goes like this. Can you do this? <clears throat> uh, wait. It goes like this. <clears throat> whoop. I, I, wait. I don't even remember. No, you it start. Now. I remember. Start here. You start at whoop, the outside. Do, do, yeah. do, do, do. And I go, yeah, I can do it. And I go, whoop, do, 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 do. And you go, no, it's wrong. And I go, what is it? And you go, <clears throat> whoop, do, 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 do. It was the little cough at the beginning oh, yeah. <laughs> that was your like big funny moment. No, you didn't get oh, it right. Yeah. And 10 times later, I'd want to drill you into the ground and you would finally say, no, you didn't go. <clears throat> hey, I got you. Yeah, well, it was really funny when you were like four. Okay, so here's four segments. I, it was pizza day and I was doing four separate pizzas. And I wanted there to be a breakfast pizza. So I hadn't thought about it the night before. When I wake up that morning, I go, there's got to be a breakfast pizza. So I pitch one of the pizzas, and then I throw in at the last minute that I'd never made before, a breakfast one. The breakfast one had sautéed mushrooms, um, Canadian bacon cooked, cheese, and I wanted there to be eggs. And I love a runny yolk. In fact, somebody was at... Who was asking me what, what my last meal would be? I if think I, w- I asked you on a show once. Uh, I, I answered it to somebody the other day. It would be some egg thing. There'd be definitely runny yolks involved. Probably a, a, a Benedict of some kind. Maybe a crab Benedict because I really like that. Anyway. Ooh. So I said, um, I want a breakfast pizza. So mushrooms, bacon. So I do this live on the show or you know, do this in the show. Saute the mushrooms, throw the Canadian bacon in with that, get a crust. I can't remember if I used some kind of sauce or something, but the sauce, whatever, cheese. Oh, I know I threw thyme in. I don't know why I never use thyme, ever. I don't even think I own thyme. Yeah, I've never seen you use it. I threw thyme in because I thought it would be really good. Uh And then, because I wanted this, I imagine you'd cut it into the wedges and you could have this runny yolk. I cracked eggs all over the top of it and I threw it in the oven and I cooked it. And I brought it out, and the eggs had turned like this, like that woman's lips in the store. <laughs> the duck face. Rock hard, the duck face. Right? <laughs> the duck face like that. And then, as if it wasn't bad enough that the, that the eggs had gone hard and no runny yolk, it was the worst, foulest fucking tasting thing I'd ever put in my mouth. I ended up throwing it into the sink and said, don't, don't make this. This is a, well, this is a mistake. What if because that happens with this pizza? We're going to find out. I but but my sense is that this is not going to be bad. And I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to. But really quickly before yes. we go in there, yes. uh, I have somebody to call out. I would like to call out the two people sitting on the couch. 
Is it wrong that I, we didn't know it was the Super Bowl until this tweet about food? <laughs> yes, it is wrong. What the hell? I was just flipping through Twitter and I see that one from Allie. <laughs> they had no idea. <laughs> you guys don't watch any sports? You know what? They're artistic no, people. We, we talked about this last time, yeah. <laughs> They're artists. I don't watch sports. I don't. But I do I know just, when the Super Bowl is. Well, I know it's like the general time well, of now year. I'm but... like, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the Super Bowl. Of course like, it is. Like, I'll watch because it's. Uh, I'll want. Sa- I, and I want San Francisco to win. Not because I have an, uh, an allegiance to San Francisco at all, <laughs> but they won the World Series. Yes. They're, uh, who won the Rose Bowl? Um, Stanford? Stanford? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have good friends that live there. And I will, you know, I'm sure people are saying, F San Francisco. Why should they have all the luck? Let the Ravens now take this. But how often would you, would the, your three major teams pick up all the three major, the three major awards? It's not very likely that's going to happen. Those assholes in Boston get to yeah, pull that all that. the time. Right, they right. get so basketball. Let it, let it happen. Sorry, you're happy, not but. assholes in Boston. You're just the most obnoxious fans. They're pretty obnoxious <laughs> fans. So they're diehards, but they got good teams out there. They do. They anyway, do. please, can I make this pizza? Please. We can. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I've got. I, I started some onions, just some uh, yellow onions, softening. I've got them on the heat, nothing but a little olive oil. To that, I'm now going to add some of this chorizo. Which is Spanish chorizo. Spanish chorizo, which is different than, than, this is dried and fully cooked, different from the um, Mexican chorizo, which you've seen me use before, and the Mexican chorizo is, is uh, wet, yeah. I guess if that's the, that's the word. So this, wow! Oh my God! Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So, wait. I should do. I could make. Should make them a little bit. All right. I need one. A little fancier. Oh, here you go. Uh huh. Oh my goodness! How good is that? Holy crap! Yeah. It's totally different. It's so delicious, right? Paprika, I don't know what else is in here. What else goes into it? Let's see. Garlic, celery powder, lactic acid. Thank God, I was hoping there'd be lactic acid in it. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to cut a couple of these guys up and throw them in with the onions. So they'll start to give off a little bit of their flavor there. It's cooked. I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to because I like the idea of, of, of them, a little bit of the fat coming that out. That chorizo has such a smoky flavor to it. So delicious, And a right? smoky aftertaste. It's great. Right. So here's, here's the whole plan. It's just this so far. Those are beautiful little slices. Thank you. Have I mentioned that... Um, have I mentioned that there's mashed potatoes going on this pizza too? I think you did. Oh, there is. Okay, so check this out. Here we are. And all you need to do to search for our other recipes is go to thesamlivecast.com slash recipes. Right. Okay, so this is, this is nice. A little color. Okay. Onions are starting to... Onions are starting to get a little bit of the red that's coming off of this chorizo. Nice is an understatement. Nice is... Right, is an understatement. Okay, so let that do its thing for a second. Um, back up, boy. Thank you. Mashed potatoes. Like a tub of them. Which we used to start uh, another recipe that we did. Mashed potatoes three ways. Oh, yeah. It was about we two that. weeks ago. It was unbelievable. So I don't make my own mashed potatoes. I think I've talked about that before. I mean, if my grandmother could come back, she's dead. Uh... Probably be icky if she came back, so I don't know if I'd want her to. <laughs> but let's say she could and I was going to make her dinner. Uh, I might make my own mashed potatoes for her. I might. I mean, I certainly know how, but I find it really easy just to be able to do this. And I'll show you what my, my standard move is uh, when I do this. Let me just make sure that I have enough in here for this pizza. I guess more is better than... We'll start this. Heating right there, nice. 
I always add a couple things. One of them is olive oil to this because it'll just help make it a little richer uh, and a little creamier. I always season well some more salt and then pepper. And that's it. Okay, so you see the color that now is starting to get on some of this, wow. on some of the, uh, the chorizo and the onions. This is really, I don't think this, there's gonna be no mistake made here with this pizza, I don't think. That's enough. And this I need just to start heating. So no liquid or anything in there? Nah. They're gonna be fine. But you can't, you, you can't buy them. You can't buy that, that store-bought mashed potatoes like that and not add something to them. Oh, yeah. They're just very plain and boring. But once you do add to them, they start to get to be pretty good. So let me get a baking sheet for this. Uh, some, oops, olive oil right here. Spread this around a bit. And I'm using one of these dough balls. Rather than using, you know, like the bobbly crust, I'm partial these days of this kind of thing. You know, I have been too. I get them from Trader Joe's. Yeah, you buy them at Trader great. Joe's. This I found at, at, at Vaughn's. Yeah, and you can get I wheat or like a garlic one or right, regular. Right. Okay, so I find putting some um, oil down helps this process. And it's a little, oops, I hear the mashed potatoes. You know, something that I've noticed as well, if you put that dough flattened out as much as you can into the, into the oven for two minutes, yeah. it comes out much more pliable. Oh, well. Like it flattens a lot easier. Hmm, I'm not gonna do that. No, it was just a tip. I could, but no, I you won't. you don't need to. Except look at it, it's not, it's not getting very thin. I thought I had it out long enough. You need to you need to give those a good half an hour. Yeah. Out of the fridge before you. Uh... Okay. See, this is now starting to be much more mashed potato like. Oh yeah, now it looks creamy and good. Okay, so I'll turn that down a little bit. Let me try and work on this. This is always one of the problems that I have trying to get these things spread out. Well, that's why I just told you my trick. <laughs> I was gonna try and do this thing, but I don't really know. Watch me, just all I'm gonna do is get oil on me. That's nice. Just, is it working? Oh God, you're gonna drop it. Don't drop it. That actually worked. I think it might have a little bit. Okay, so here. Nice work. Okay, here we go. So we've got oil down, right? We've got oil now on both sides. We'll just make this that shape, whatever the hell that shape is. Now we'll take this, here we go. Now the mashed potatoes are heated. And the mashed potatoes are gonna go down in here. Clearly I have way more than I needed, but I didn't really know, because I've not done this before, how much I was gonna need. So try and leave the edge, right? Just like a normal pizza. Okay, so mashed potatoes around the rim. Nice. All the way, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now this. And now the chorizo and the onions. Oh my God, I'm telling you the smell here is huh? ridiculous. It's just stupid. Your mom's stupid. No, honestly, like the onions are the color of the chorizo now, it's perfect. That's perfect. I didn't really think about that happening and I'm glad it I did. I know, I know. That's what happens when you do something onions first are, Onions really are really good at absorbing flavor. Mm. Okay, we don't have to spend too much time making this perfect because when it's not perfect, you can call it rustic. <laughs> and it's great. 
Last thing, Max, what's it gonna be? Cheese. Right. I'm gonna use Monterey Jack. Any uh, special preference for that? Oh, I mean, you could totally use mozzarella. You could use Monterey Jack. I know I did not want an orange cheese on this. That's yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. That to me would have been, that wouldn't have been right. Okay, so there's lots of flavor. There's lots of flavor in the, um, uh, in the uh, chorizo and the onions. Uh, we seasoned the mashed potatoes, olive oil, and cheese on top, and that's it. And now this goes into a heated 450 oven. It should take uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Crispy brown on the outside, melty cheese heated through. That's going to be delicious. Okay, done. Pizza's ready. And now it's time for the, the eating part. Yum. Okay. Wow. So looks nice. Loosen it a little right on here. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Boom. Easy there. Uh, little green onion. And why, why would I put a green onion on this? Because it's a garnish. Look at me. flavor. Look at me. I put green onion on this because I'm fucking addicted to green <laughs> onion. And I love it. And I, it's a little pop of color. That's what I wanted. I wanted a little pop of color right there. It is, yeah. So. Wow, nice. that thing looks perfect. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Oh God, All I, don't, this. I don't know how to shoot a pizza though. Uh, you just go top down, you'll be fine. So ch look what we've got. Oh my God. You know how hot this is gonna be? I'm just trying to cut this into a, as minuscule a piece as I can. Here, do you see the steam? I can hold it against my shirt. A Little bit, yeah. It's there, trust me, it's there. It's burning through my fingers. Aurelia's chorizo. What's the recipe name? This is called a uh, Spanish chorizo uh, mashed, and mashed potato, potato pizza. pizza. Nice. Isn't Aurelia that area around the nipple? What's that called? <laughs> Areola. Areola. It's almost the same. Look it. Aurelia. It's almost the same thing. <laughs> Just buy the nipple chorizo. That's the one to get. <laughs> All right. Not too hot? It's pretty fucking hot. But Mm. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you what's going on here. The chorizo has got that beautiful little paprika -y kind of spice to it. The onions just add beautiful texture, flavor. The mashed potatoes are really acting like the sauce. That's exactly what it is. It's like the mashed potatoes are taking the place of sauce. Oh my God. So good. You have to make it. Um, if you've never bought one of those dough balls before, buy one because it's really simple to use and it's way better than if it was just on a store-bought crust. All right, I don't know what next week is, but Super Bowl Food Week has been a good freaking week on the live cast. Yes, Thanks for has. hanging out with us. Thank you, Jason and uh, Ali, for, for being here, guests watching. Uh, go, to, go to iTunes and uh, subscribe. We like that you do that. And then it just comes to you. You don't even have to think about it. You just wake up one day and, hey, there's a new live cast I can watch. We all have? And, uh, yeah. We didn't use it, but go check them out. Weallive.com on the internet. Uh, there's a little shop now button. If you put my name in, Sam, S-A-M. I didn't have to spell it. But you, know <laughs> it. you get 10% off anything you buy. They have only certified... California extra virgin olive oils only and you know what there's a big scandal these days with fake extra virgin olive oils out there They mix all kinds of different stuff. We all have 10 stores on the internet only Certified California extra virgin olive oils. You'll love them as I do. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl Go Niners or Ravens if that's what you like. See ya